YouTubers. I'm gonna name this video how not to fix rust. Yeah, buddy. Well, this customer, he just wants us to patch it up so we can pass inspection. We live, uh, I live in the northern New Hampshire, up on the Canada border, up in the White Mountains. The capital of the Rust Belt. Everything rusts away real quick. This truck is, what year is this? This is a 97. See right there? And for the North Country, this thing's in really good shape. But I'll tell you, this truck is rough. Uh, we got new inner and outer rocker panels welded on it. Now I'm just up here because of the rust. We want to keep the moisture off of the metal. So we use Duraglass, which is a fiberglass mixed material. You mix it, I mix it with a little bit of fiberglass resin. It helps it spread smoother. Allows for less sanding. Makes it easier to sand. And we'll probably... I'll probably touch it up with a little bit of Bondo after I sand that, and then it'll get, it'll prime it with a epoxy primer. And then uh, after it's primed, it can be painted. And where this is uh, nothing special of a truck, let me tell you, it's a half ton Chevy from 97. Yeah, buddy. And you see this down here? The fender was rotted. So we did what's called a hot patch. You take Duraglass, you take some wax paper, you take the wax paper and you lay it out and you smear Duraglass on it, which is like a fiberglass reinforced filler, and you put it over the hole, and once it sets up, you peel the wax paper off, and now the hole's covered. Then you can take a little more Duraglass and touch it up, then you just use Bondo to get the little imperfections. And you can see that's ready for a primer, and then we're just going to black out the edges, and that's about it. This truck's rare, as in uh, the fact that the doors ain't rotted out on it. They're actually in really good shape. It's muddy, but it's a clean truck. The doors ain't rotted at all. Very, very rare for up here to see a truck this old without rotten doors. Usually they come and they want it fixed and everything's gonzo. The bed dried out really quickly. You grinded this smooth, it was, a, it was rotted here. And you can see there's a brackets here that hold the bed together and it was rotted out. We just grinded it smooth, clean to bare metal, and we welded a patch on to drill a new hole to reattach re the bed. Then some Duraglass and Bondo, and that's it. I just threw a little Duraglass down here because I had some extra, and I'm just filling in imperfections. But that, I'll, I'll sand that out with a DA and Vady grit, and we'll prime it, and that'll be it. We won't even use any finer sandpaper or nothing on it just because it's getting, it's getting a, a real cheapo job, if you want to call it that. I mean, it really needs new wheel wells and stuff. The inner is actually not rotted. It's pretty solid and then you have to take my word for it. Usually they're worse than this. But this is how you don't fix rot. You should cut the rot out and weld a patch in. But this customer just wanted us to patch them up with a, what we call a hot patch. So that's what we did. Because he thinks it's quicker. Yeah, I guess it kind of might be quicker. But in the long run, you're better off just to cut the rot out and weld some new metal in there and the metal will last quite a while as long as you seal it from the backside but this guy's got a lot of these trucks he loves them he's retired and he's got like four of these things so he just keeps patching them up if you got rid of all four trucks you could probably have a new one but that's okay it keeps us working right so i just about ready to sand the door glass and that'll be about it. I'll show you this, the other side. We already did the other side. You see, we blacked out the wheel well. This side got rocker panels. We still gotta touch up. He's gotta find some gold, and we're gonna touch up the gold to blend it in. This isn't your normal repair. This guy just wants to pass inspection. He's not looking for it to be pretty. If you look at the hood, the clear coat peeling off the hood. The roof's probably the same. You can see this sand all over it because it was sandblasted. We sandblast the rust so we can weld the new rocker panels in. We cut out as much as we can, then we sandblast the rest. So sand just gets everywhere. It's just part of the, part of the gig, I guess you could say. But this is how he wants it, you know? It's been painted, the rocker panel's been replaced and painted black. And then once again, the doors are not rotted. I'm amazed.
But so this is how you don't fix rot. I hope y'all enjoy the video. And the quality is probably not top notch, but maybe you'll learn what not to do. But everything really, all the body work on this is done with a DA. And uh, where is my little sander? Right here. You got this little tiny sander here. This is sand inside the rocket panels. Small spots. Nice little tool. Expensive. Made by 3M. Everything made by 3M is expensive, but if you're doing rocket panels, it's a handy little tool to have. But yeah, that's about it, folks. Hope you all stay confident but humble, and I uh, hope you like the quick video. Peace.